The Ministry of Health has launched the Public Health Officers and Technicians Council, whose core mandate will be to supervise and streamline training, practice and employment of public health officers and technicians in Kenya. The 13-member council will also advise the government in relation to matters of public health in the country. It is my hope that the council will set, maintain and indeed apply fair standards of professional conduct and practice in order to effectively protect the interests of the public. The move is to tame rogue individuals who have been masquerading as public health officers administering medication to the public in some parts of the country. And be accountable to your work. I think we have had several issues around this country. The registrar said the issue of cold outbreak in this country is totally unacceptable. There are people responsible for community health, for community hygiene. The newly launched council is now warning such officers and unqualified institutions that offer public health training that their days are numbered as it is set to inspect all officers and institutions involved in the profession. The universities that do not comply with our minimum training standards that the curriculum and the training facilities will be deregistered by the council and then it's up to the government to close down uh, such universities. Three institutions, among them Chuka University, Meru University of Technology and Gretza University have already been inspected upon their request with a report on their status expected to be publicized soon. The council will conduct the inspections progressively and officers will be required to annually renew their licenses to safeguard the public from quacks. Of every year, the registrar will have to gazette all licensed public health officers in this country and it's up to the employers to make sure that the people who are working in their sectors are really uh, licensed. All public health officers and institutions of training are now required to apply for the inspection to the council to be guided on the improvement of their services.